You maybe have seen my previous videos about .NET MAUI and storage. Today it's time to talk about a little bit more about how you can store data in a structured way. And we will use a non-SQL database called LightDB. So stay tuned. Welcome back to a new video about .NET MAUI, of course. Today we will talk about storage of data in a more structured way compared to my previous storage videos. Today we will use a database on the device. It will be stored locally, not a database on a server. And that is something many apps need for saving data or caching data. So let's go to Vision Studio and write some code for implementing the LightDB, a non-SQL database that you can use on all .NET platforms. Here you can see the app that I have created for this demo. It is a simple app with a form with three fields and also one tab with a list of persons. The only problem right now in this app is that the data we add in the form is not saved any where. So what we need to do now is to add a database to save the data and then we need to read it from the database. And for that we will use LightDB, an open source non-SQL database. So the first thing we need to do is to go and add the NuGet package for LightDB. So we open up the NuGet package manager and then we search for LightDB. And here it is. So we install that one. So now it's installed and then we can go to the data service that I prepared. It's just an empty class right now implementing the interface iData service, but it doesn't do anything more than returning an empty list. So here we will start to use LightDB instead. So let's start with the save method. So what we need to do is to create a new light database object and that will create and open the database. Of course if it already exists it will not create it but it will open it. So add a using statement db is new light data base and here we can see that we need a connection string and the connection string will be more or less the file name so let's create a helper method to get that one so we can reuse it on multiple places in this service get file path And if you have looked at my storage videos, I walk through where to save the data. Uh, so we will use the Maui Essentials class file system. And here we have a property called cache directory and we have one app data directory. So we will use the app data directory here. Uh, our path and then we should use uh, path dot combine because I recommend you to always use path dot combine because if there are difference between the operating system for example for how slash and backslash should be used path combine will fix that for you so path and then we con get it with the file name uh, persons.db uh, yeah and return okay so we add it there get file path we missing a var there okay so now when we have an open database connection we can go and get or create a collection so db dot get collection 
and this will create a collection if it does not exist. And then we tell what type of data that should be in there. And here I already created a model called person that looks like this, so we can use that. And we should call the collection persons. And we should of course add this to a constant. Persons data collection name persons. Okay, so we replace string here with the constant person data collection name. Okay. We put collection in a variable and now we only need to do collection dot insert person. Okay, just as simple like that. If we want to add an index, we can also do that. So collection dot ensure index. And maybe we'll have one on name like this. Okay, that is everything you need to do to insert a person. And if we want to do an update to a person, we can just use the update method. But let's go and write the get all code right now. So we copy this code and to get all persons, we use collection dot query like this. And if we want to, we can also Uh, and if we want to, we can also add some where conditions. And here we can have link, for example. But right now we just want to return all. So we do collection.query.to list. And we return persons. Okay, now we can go and see if this code works so here the app is so we enter name Daniel 1337 and I live in Wallenge and save you can go to the persons list and here we have Daniel 1337 and Bollinge let's add another one like Johan so let's go to the persons list and here we have two names so that is how simple it is to get started with the LightDB. But if we want this data to be encrypted, we can pretty easily do that too. So we go back to our data service and we should modify the connection string a bit. So let's change the name here to get connection string because that is what we want to do. So we have the path here, we can call that full path. And then to do this, we need a password in the connection string. And that password is what that will be used to encrypt the data. So we need to create a password and we need to store the password in a secure way. So we will use secure storage. And if you want to know more about secure storage, I recommend you to take a look at that video. But right now I prepared that so the only thing we need to do is to implement our iSecure storage service. So now we have that. So our password is await secure storage service and uh, get password. Uh, default value yeah, can be null as the standard. So then we do if password uh, is equal to null, then we should create the password. Password is, let's say we use a grid, new grid dot to string. Okay, now we just need to save that one. So await secure source service dot save pass. Word, password. And now we will do like this. 
var connection string is equal to file name is equal to full path semicolon and pass word is equal to pass word semicolon yes and then we return connection string yeah and this need to return a task now task of string yes and then we need to add a weight here and here okay let's see what happens when we run this now so here the app is again what you also need to remember before you change from a non-encrypted database to an encrypted is that you cannot load the same file so you need to remove the old database file or give it a new name so but we enter daniel 37 warling in save and let's see if we also can show the data yes here it is so now we have saved persons from the person's form encrypted on the device and that is much more secure if you have sensitive data so i recommend you in many cases to use the encryption and it's really easy to accomplish so why not what i also like with light db is that it has separate file storage so let's show how we can do that so we add a method here public async task upload and let's say we will have a byte array because that is something that you often have when uploading files an image for example and we will have a file name so we still need to open or create the database so we take that row again but we don't need a collection because we have this db.file storage and here we can upload the data so and we will give it an id like grid dot new grid dot two string so and uh, here we have the file name file name and then we have a stream so let's create a new memory stream from the byte array uh, bytes and when we do upload we will get back some file info info and then we can return a string with the then we can return the id and that can be saved together with the persons for example in the persons collection okay but when we want to download this file it, it will create a new method for that too async task byte array and call it download and then we have string.id so we copy this code again to open the database then we do db.filestorage.download and then we pass the id and we need a stream so we create one here new mem or restream pass it here just like that and now we can return stream dot to array and we will get a byte array we can also make sure that we are in the beginning of the stream stream dot position is zero okay so easy it is to work with files and file storage in light db and please use it don't uh, serialize your files and save it to the regular collection because file storage is created for use with files so it will perform much much better and will not slow down your database with big files in the data collections so that was a quick introduction how you can use light db to store data locally in your apps i really like light db and i'm using it in multiple apps myself 
So if you like this video and want more .NET malware content, please subscribe to my channel and of course press the like button. And then we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.